Well, before I started filming this, I guess uh, NG Models decided to release the Alaska 737 box art, and it looks really amazing. That's going to be my next model coming, so stay tuned for that unboxing video. But let's cut over to the model airport update of Joe Fosfield. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, we are back at Joe Fosfield for the fourth airport update for the month of June 2020. No time frames, I'm done with those. It kind of limits what I can do with airport updates, so they're done. I don't think I'm gonna do them anymore, and yeah, this will be much better for me. So, we'll go ahead and get started at gate one. There's already a plane there, and it's a special flight. Sitting at gate one is a, uh, it's an inaugural flight for Allegiant. This is their Airbus A320, and this just arrived in from San Diego. This is a brand new flight for Allegiant, and is their eighth route. Uh, for Allegiant out of Sioux Falls. Um, on the day that I'm filming this actually, this is when the flight is supposed to start operating and hopefully I went out to the airport to catch this and if I did I will have a thumbnail pop up right now to show you that video and I'll have a card link to that video in the top right corner that will also appear at right around this time but if I did go out there it was pretty fun and yeah so Allegiant A320 this came in from San Diego uh, they used the 319 on the inaugural flight um, I don't have an Allegiant 319 though, I will work to get one, but the only one I can find is the Gemini uh, with Sharklets, which doesn't really exist yet in for the Allegiant A319. But yeah, a pretty special flight. He arrived about 30 minutes ago, and he'll be getting bags on board, and hopefully he'll be loaded up to go back to San Diego. At gate 3 is my brand new model, my Delta Airlines Airbus A319. Just making sure the jet bridge is aligned properly uh, it's not any better but this is my Delta Airlines Airbus A319 this is the Aero Classics version because I can't find the Gemini one I got this about a couple weeks ago from this being premiered and he just arrived in from Minneapolis about a few hours ago I want to say but um, there's no service vehicles around him apparently the flight's been canceled for maintenance issues so yeah, uh, passengers that were going to be heading back out to Minneapolis are going to have to wait until probably tomorrow, I guess. But passengers are going to stay at the nearby hotel. There's actually an Aerostay Hotel connected to the main terminal building, which it isn't represented on here because I have so limited space. But yeah, he'll just be kind of pulling off an overnight and hopefully he'll be leaving in the morning to go to Minneapolis. I have to raise the tripod for this one, so I'm kind of handling the tripod with my hands. This is a Delta Connection. Uh, Mitsubishi. Yeah, see what I did different there? <laughs> so this is a Delta Connection Mitsubishi CRJ700. He just arrived in from Minneapolis about 15... Actually, no, he's just pulling into the gate, my bad. Uh, he's just pulling, pulling into the gate from Minneapolis, and he's got a fuel truck already there, ready to fuel him back up, so he can make the hop back over to Minneapolis in about an hour. At gate 6 is this United Express Mitsubishi CRJ550. He arrived in from Chicago O'Hare about 45 minutes ago, and I believe he's going to get the tug, and he'll be pushing back to head out to Chicago in about 10 minutes' time. At gate 7 is my lovely Sun Country Tide Pod, uh, 737-800 from NG Models. He just arrived in from Minneapolis, and he's going to be making a flight out to Bullhead City in about an hour's time. Looks like it's another charter because, well... That's the only reason we get Sun Country is because of charters, uh, no scheduled service or anything like that, but who knows? Maybe it'll happen in like 5-10 years if this airport becomes popular enough, but quite frankly, I think Delta's got that market captured pretty well, but just arrived in from Minneapolis, and he'll be heading out to Bullhead City in about an hour, uh, charter for a local sports team. Uh, this is not realistic, by the way, um, and we don't actually have that happening right now, but if this were the case, they'll have text pop up and, you know, just say that it actually is, but... I highly doubt that's going to be happening on the day this premieres, or around the time it does, but yeah. One more plane. Taxiing away from the terminal, about to head to Denver, is my Frontier Airlines Airbus A320 Mio. This is the Mia the Dolphin livery from Aero Classics, and I did have, yeah, I kind of lost the um, main landing gear wheels for this one, but so it doesn't really stand that well, and now it's kind of tail heavy, as you just saw there, the engine scraping the ground, but Hey, at least this time I can say that it's not a manufacturer defect unlike some other company that we know. Am I right? Um, yeah, that's about it for the update. So, he's going to be heading out to Denver, like I said. And then we'll conclude this... Oh, no, I got one more. Hang on. Right here. So, here's the last one. This is my uh, Bombardier Challenger 300 from Shapeways. 
Um, I don't know where he arrived in from. I was not told of his origin, but he arrived in just now and he's going, he's got a bus pulled up to him it looks like and he's going to get service probably maybe in about 20-30 minutes I want to say. But I believe the, um, I believe these biz jets really don't come over to the passenger terminal. I'm just putting them in here just for varieties, so this is not totally realistic, but maybe an occasion or two where they have but i don't know i've seen one occasion of satellite imagery in which a like a cessna citation or something pulls into the terminal area and goes somewhere i don't know where exactly he goes but i'm just putting it over here on this apron i'll move the challenger out of the way so you can kind of see the apron that i made for it the little gate foil or whatever it's just the yellow line with some marks not the most detailed but Figured I'd throw in this Challenger in for some variety and just to make the airport update a little bit longer. But yeah, that should be the end of the update now. I think I've gone over every single plane that I wanted to go over. So you can see this airport, yeah, definitely looking pretty nice after four updates. Still remember the first update in which we had the Matchbox Learning Blocks decals, and then we progressed over to, I believe, the third update, which was the last one before this one. Um, or I added in all the decals on the terminal building just to make it look look a little bit like the actual airport. Again, not totally realistic, but it's much better than those old decals from the boxes that I use to build the terminal building. And I added in the lights as well, so we're progressing pretty good. Um, if I can get more space and, you know, just have like a big board or something to work with, then I could probably move this over onto that and then just like make a much bigger replica of Joe Foss, but as of right now, it's just going to be the passenger terminal, no cargo operations or general aviation stuff. Unless if I feel like I want to throw it in for fun. Oh, excuse me. So with that being said, that concludes this Joe Foss update. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.